This is James Rizzi. James Rizzi was an American pop artist who was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. He was known for his use of childlike imagery and vibrant colors. His trademark technique was to make a silkscreen print, hand color it, and then attach cutouts with adhesive foam. The result was a 3D multiple that combined graphic art, painting, and sculpture. James Rizzi lived in and created art in New York City his whole life, where he participated in outdoor art shows and did small-scale graphic work. In 1996, he received his most high-profile commission as the official artist for the Olympic Games in Atlanta, Georgia. He created a series of paintings of the opening ceremony. His most well-known work remains his 3D prints, particularly his anthropomorphic cityscapes. Anthropomorphic means his buildings have human characteristics like their facial features. Today, we'll create a city inspired by James Rizzi. Find your paper, something to draw with, and something to color with. Let's start by drawing a rectangle in the middle of our paper. This is our first building. Now add a funky shaped building next to that first building. Add another building to the right of your paper. Create another funky shaped building to the left of that first rectangle. If you have space, add one more building. Let's give our buildings faces, starting with their eyes. Here are some examples of different eyes I saw in James Rizzi's artwork. You can use any of these or come up with your own to give each of your buildings different eyes. Next, let's add noses. Here are some examples of noses found in James Rizzi's artwork. Add different noses to your buildings.
time to add mouths to our buildings. Here are some examples of different types of mouths you can use. Let's add details to our buildings, like windows. You can draw square windows or circle windows, really any shape you want. Add any details you'd like to the tops of your buildings. Let's add shapes and designs in the sky. When you're ready, you can color your Rizzy cityscape. 